If you are watching this video, I am going to assume two things about you. First, that you have finished second year already, and second. that you are very very serious about neat pg or next pg exam so without further ado this is abhijit let's get started with how to finish third year in 60 days now that you have finished with your second year you are done with the basics and the paraclinical side of mbbs now welcome to the clinical side that is whatever you are going to do you will do on actual patients this video is not for geniuses This video is not for those who are going to aim for the gold medal. This video is for those of us who want to get one step ahead in their NEET or next PG exam preparations. I'm sure you have joined some or the other PG coaching classes in your vicinity. So, with that in mind, let's get started. Third year has three subjects: ENT, which is ear, nose, throat, ophthalmology, and community medicine. Of those, ENT and ophthalmology are sort of short subjects. and community medicine is equally big we are going to learn about how to approach these subjects in under three headings first is for university exams second is for practical exams and third a total timeline of everything that you are going to do how to finish it in 60 days so let's get started with ent ENT is a relatively short subject including ear nose and throat it's an easy subject to understand and for that you need to use this book called diseases of ear nose and throat by P L Dingra and Shruti Dingra this is the standard book for ENT but i personally used a book called Triple E by Dr Manisha Budhirajan which is a crisp book for entrance exam preparation i found that that book itself is a good enough reading material for ent the only thing that you need to read from dingra is the procedures that is the surgeries of ear nose and throat as well as the diagnostic procedures including direct indirect laryngoscopy anterior posterior rhinoscopy bronchoscopy esophagoscopy etc you got the general idea right other than these books there is also a practical book for ent by vikas singh you can just download the pdf of it and use it as you see fit in the practicals and exam i personally use the book to understand and learn the history taking format and various procedures now let's come to procedures the main procedures that you need to remember are the tuning fork tests for which you will need a tuning fork a 512 hertz tuning fork is preferred to keep with you of course i don't have it with me right now but i'm sure you will buy it also You will need to understand and learn about anterior and posterior rhinoscopy. You may or may not be asked to perform it on the patient, but you should have this basic knowledge to go through the subject. Now for university exam preparations, your own notes and Dingra and Tripoli. E. These three books will be sufficient. From Tripoli, e, read all the SAQ and LAQ. From Dingra, read all the procedures and operations. And from your own notes, you can just manage any questions that may be oddly asked. It's a pattern in ENT that one of the LAQs is always odd. That is something that has never been asked before. The other things like drawing diagrams, writing point wise, etc., all apply to ENT as well. I'm sure you have seen my video about how to write university exam papers. That will guide you enough for this. Now let's come to ENT from a practical exam point of view. I have already told you the book for practical exams called Vikas Sinha. Diving into the practical exams, it is held under the following headings. That is history taking of the case. a long case and a short case its clinical examination investigation management treatment guidelines etc then there is an x ray audiogram specimen instruments for these you can refer to any youtube video that you want it is very well explained by dr manisha budhirajan in one of her videos now let's come to cases the most important and most frequently asked cases in ent are csom that is chronic separative otitis media deviated nasal septum polyp and something about the trachea or larynx including laryngitis read these cases in details from digra and tripoli e. if you have any other source material use it well that is pretty much all for ent it is a very short subject that will not trouble you much and you will have a lot of fun attending it and learning about it the second subject that i want to talk about is ophthalm for ophthalm there are two books that are recommended to me by my seniors one is parson and the other is khurana for those who have great interest in ophthalmology and who want to learn it in great depths use parson i personally prefer khurana because it is relatively shorter and easier to understand in khurana itself i did not read the complete book i actually read only the important parts which may be asked as questions the question paper of ophthalmology is pretty predictable so you you can skip a few parts of course 
uh, you need to learn it from your lectures or notes etc but reading quran itself completely is not that necessary but if you are going to give next exam then reading quran becomes very important because you will get questions from ophthalmology as it is a separate short paper with a lot of marks so if you are giving next don't skip this subject don't skip this book the problem with ophthalmology itself as a subject that i feel is that it is hard to imagine it, it's the eyeball is this much in such a tiny thing there are so many structures complicatedly arranged and when you start from the basics you just have no idea how it's going on so it is preferable to watch a 3d video or learn about the diagram of eye in details that will help you build concepts and learn for the complications diseases etc easily coming to university exams quran is a good book and that will help you to cover it all the papers aren't that odd and they are easy to attempt and understand and learn and write draw a lot of diagrams it's just an eye a circle with a few details and you are good to go for practical exams you will need a book called practical manual for undergraduates a book by dada peer k your own notes are also sufficient but reading this book is preferable because it has format and other cases in very great details and it will help you in it i found a youtube channel especially for the practical exams that is i am nikhil which is e y e i a m m nikhil n i k h i l nikhil sir's videos are very great and deeply explain about all the instruments darkroom procedures and surgeries by live demos so it will definitely help you pass and score in practical exams the last and most important thing that you will need in ophthalmology practical exam is a torch from the torch you are going to do the iris shadow test reflex test and so many lot of tests so torch is very essential just like stethoscope is essential in medicine in case of ophthalmology the most important cases are cataract aphasia pseudophasia corneal ulcer pterygium and like that please read these cases in great details for glaucoma you can refer to parson as one of my seniors told me glaucoma is explained in great details in parson and it is easier to understand as compared to purana i think that is pretty much all for ophthalmology i'll say ophthal is also a short subject but it's a little hard to remember because you don't get it in one go i want you to understand the basics properly and then only go ahead and learn it practicals will be very helpful in understanding it all that's all now let's come to the biggest chunk of third year that is community medicine in community medicine the essential book that you need to have with yourself is k park you may or may not read it completely but you need to have it with yourself as it is very important in some of the cases that i am going to tell you ahead the other books that you may need are short notes of community medicine by p v d shetty this book saved my life in the university exam because i read for the questions from this itself it helped me in scoring in theory as well as practical exams and i am very very grateful to the authors for this book thank you the other book that i used in university exams for practicals is this mastering community medicine by purnima tiwari and shashank tiwari the last thing that i used is a website called i hate psm.com don't get fooled by the name the people who created this website love psm a lot the website itself is very user friendly simply arranged and it has a lot of short notes which are easy to read revise and remember just go through it once and you will know it is not sponsored and trust me i used it and it's very good now that we have covered all the material for community medicine let's dive in inside the university exams in the preparation i want you to read park textbook at least once for the preparation of the university exams when it is closed revise that textbook from shetty This is basically the short note of community medicine and it's sort of like a short form of part itself. For MCQs and other things like biostats or health programs, use your own notes that you are going to make for PG. This will be sufficient from that. Remember, the notes that you are going to make for PG point of view are insufficient for university exams. So you are going to need to read these books for university exams for sure. For the spottings and the clinical cases as well as some of the definitions that may be asked like what is ventilation what is lighting and other things in the environment like what is sewage etc etc this book for mastering practical community medicine is going to be a life saver for you this is a last minute revision book for psm i think that much should cover up the entire community medicine other than this i want you to ask your seniors for the pdf ppt and whatever material that they used in their time 
for preparing for committee medicine it will be very helpful for your preparations as well now in the end i want to mention a very important part for committee medicine that is the postings in committee medicine the environmental history the social history the personal history etc matter a lot so attend all the postings make sure you note down all the clinical cases and the questions that the teachers ask regarding those cases because they are repeated in the final viva make sure you note them down because trust me you will forget them in time other important topics that they may ask are demography family planning biostatistics health programs nutrition environment etc of course it may seem like i have mentioned all the topics in the park but once you finish with it your committee medicine will go like all great and no problem at all I think this much information is enough for the three subjects. I hope you got it all for university and practical exams and you are going to rock them for sure. Now let's come to the timeline. Before timeline you will ask what about the PG exams? What am I supposed to do with it? For PG exams I want you to watch the lectures, make the notes and solve the question banks. When are you going to do it? That's what I'm about to tell you right now. This timeline is used, tried and tested by me and my friends. Don't get overwhelmed with it. Trust me, you can do it. and it will be enough time for you to finish all the notes lectures and question banks okay i want you to finish ent in one week ophthalmology in 10 days and psm in 2 months <laughs> here's how it will go on now that you are entered in third year start doing little bit of psm every day that is 1 hour 2 hour whatever your capacity is psm itself is a big subject so it will take time and doing it all at once will just drain your brain because i feel it's just a little bit boring no offense to the teachers it's a very interesting subject once you understand and learn it now that you are doing little bit of psm every day use the rest of the time to finish ent and of them of course simultaneously try to do the question bank as well it will help you revise the notes and come prepared with the subject So what about all these textbooks that I told you about? When are you supposed to read these? In third year, you are going to have your clinical postings for all these three subjects. I think it is of one one month each. I don't know for sure because half of my postings went in COVID, so the schedule may have changed. But assuming that you get one month each for each subject, I want you to use that one month to read the textbook of the respective subjects. Whatever the IMP are, the teachers are going to mention about it in the lectures. Go home. take the topic out read it underline it and you are done with the topic over if possible you should check the time table and come prepared for the posting by reading the topic beforehand don't hesitate in checking the patient's taking history don't hesitate in presenting it because the more mistakes you make the teachers are going to guide you into the right directions and your yy and practicals are going to be great and so is your career as a doctor so 7 days for ent 10 days for ophthal and 2 months for psm that is all for third year but what about university exam preparations i have already made a video about how to prepare for university exams in 15 days just click on the link and you will know how to do it all that is all for third year now you may have a tiny bit of doubt in your mind why are we supposed to finish third year in just 60 days why not use the whole year to do it listen you are going to give neat or next pg exam if it is next pg exam you are going to do it after final year itself that means you don't have much time left by finishing third year in 2 months you can devote the rest of the time of third year in finishing the final year subjects so that you can use the final year to revise all of the subjects and prepare for the tests and do well in the exams how are you supposed to finish final year in third year well that's the topic for some other video i know you may have been overwhelmed by the timeline by whatever i said but trust me if you want to achieve the goals that are high you need to work that hard as well there is no other way there is no plan b there is no shortcut it starts with tiny little habits every day third year itself is of one year so why are we supposed to finish it so soon why to finish it in just 60 days The point is that I want you to use the rest of the time to finish final year. If you are giving next exam, you are going to do it right after the final year. You won't have time to revise. You won't have time to give tests. You won't have time for anything. So, time is of essence. In the time period of 1 year, once you are done with third year in 2 months, use the rest of the time to finish the final year subjects and make notes for it. How to do it? I'll tell you in the next video. I hope this video helped you third year students in planning even a little bit for your future. I hope it makes your studies easier and I hope 
you get great marks in university and practical exams as well as in PG. For more such videos, keep in tune with me and do subscribe. See you in the next video. This is Abhijit signing off.